gallery based in Turin, Italy. Mm -hmm. The gallery uh, has been opened uh, since 1975 and uh, Mr. Persano has always been focused on Arte Povera movement uh, and uh, conceptual art. And uh, here we present uh, some artworks uh, by Italian artists uh, as Mario Merz and Michelangelo Pistoletto, who are um, one of the most renowned uh, Italian artists from Arte Povera movement. And uh, we also present um, uh, a um, huge piece uh, by Lawrence Wiener, who is uh, a central figure of conceptual art and uh, he is based in uh, New York City. And uh, we have also uh, a photo by an Afghan artist, Did Abdul, and uh, a um, piece by a Portuguese artist, Pedro Cabrita Reis. So, uh, the Mario Merz's piece, um, according to the artist, uh, reality is seen as a complex evolve of events and uh, in uh, this canvas we can see the Fibonacci series. Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician of the 13th century and uh, he discovered uh, a series of numbers each, um, where each number is the sum of the previous two. And in addition to this there is also a primal symbol of a spiral uh, which contains in itself uh, the idea of infinity as uh, for uh, the Fibonacci uh, series. And uh, this work uh, is also enriched by um, the neons uh, that are expressions of uh, light and uh, energy. Lida Abdul is an Afghan artist. She was born in 1973 and she was the first artist to represent Afghanistan in the first Afghan pavilion in Biennale di Venezia uh, 10 years ago. And uh, essentially she is a video artist and uh, uh, this photo was taken during the shooting of Bricksellers of Kabul. Here is a line of children selling bricks from a bombed out building in uh, Afghanistan. Uh, so the artist uh, tries to bring out uh, the beauty and the innocence of children from the tragedy of the war. She, she said that without children, the situation in Afghanistan would be even more uh, violent and, and hopeless. Lorenz Wiener is uh, one of the central figures of uh, conceptual art and uh, he was one of the first artists to dematerialize the object of art into pure language. So he composes lines uh, which offer no replies but they are open to possible uh, um, interpretations. So he leaves uh, the maximum level of interpretative autonomy to the public and the most important aspect uh, of his work uh, is the interaction with, with the audience uh, and the meaning that we can give uh, to his artworks. Uh.